Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this video, we are talking about the blaze value through minimum. As we explained before, the meaning of the blaze value. The blaze value is the blaze which gives the value of a number. So we can find the value of a number according to its blaze. When we talk about the blaze value, it means we are talking about ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and so on. But once we need to find the value of a number, suppose that we are talking about the value of two. When 2 lies in the 1's place, it means its value will be 2. When 2 lies in the 10's place, its value will be 20. When 2 lies in 100 place, it will be 200. And so on. The first point in our lesson today is called the blaze value chart. The blaze value chart shows the value of the digit in the number. So we can divide the number into periods. Each period is formed from 3 digits. So the first digit is called 1's. The second digit is called 10. The third digit is called 100's. For any number, we can write in different form. The first form is called the standard form. In the standard form, we use the digit to write the number. The second form that we have today is called the expanded form. For the expanded form, we use the sum of the values of each digit. The last form that we have is called the word form. In this form, we use the words to write the numbers. We will start with the blaze value chart. Now we have in question number one. The distance from the earth to the sun is equal to a number. We need to read this number. To read the number number 1, we need to divide it into periods. As we said before, each period is formed from 3 digits. So we have here, the first 3 digits is called the 1's period. And the second 3 digits is called the 1000 period. And the last one is called the million period. So we separate them and read each one. So we have the first period from the left, which is a million. So the first period from the left is called million. So we have 92 million. Then read the second period, the second period which is 955,000. After that we read the third one, which is 793. So to read the number, it will be 92,955,793. We need to use the place value chart to list the value of each digit. Now we'll start from the right. 3 lies at the 1's place, so at the 1's place we'll just write 3. 9 lies at the 10th place, so at the 10th place we just write 9. 7 lies at the 100th place, so it will be equal to 7. So 3 at the 1th place is equal to 3. 9 in the 10th place will be equal to 9. 7 at the 100th place, it will be 700. Now the second period that we have, which is the 1000 period. In the 1000 period, which is 955. The first digit in the 1th place in the 1000 period, which is 5. So the place value of 5 will be 1000. Now the second digit, which is 5, lies at the 10th place in the 1000 period. So it will be 50,000. The last one will be equal to 9. 9 lies in the 100th place in the 1000 period. So it will be 900,000. And the last period that we have, which is million. 2 lies at the 1's place. So it will be 2 million. 9 lies at the 10th place. So it will be 90 million. And that's how can we use the place value chart to write the number. In this part, we need to write the value of the highlighted digits. There is a difference between the value and the place value. When I'm talking about the value, just we use the digit to represent the number. So we need to find the value of 9. Just write 9. There is only one digit at the right of 9. It means we just replace it with 1 zero. So the value of 9 here will be equal to 9. In question number 3, we need to find the value of 9. As we said before, when we need to find the value, we just use the digit, so we just write 9. There is 4 digits at the right of 9, so we just write 4 zeros. Now we can read the number. So it will be 90,000. In question number 4, we just write 6 because we need to find the value. There is only 2 digits, so we just replace it with 2 zeros, so it will be 600. When I need to find the value of 3, just write 3, and we have here 5 digits at the right. So we just replace it with 5 zeros. So it will be 300,000. In question number 6, we need to find the value of 9. There is only 3 digits at the right, so we have only 3 zeros. So it will be 9,000. If the question asks about the place value, so put that for question number 2. 9 here lies in the 10th place. But in question number 3, 9 lies in 10,000 place. In question number 4, we have 1s, 10s, 100, so 6 lies in 100 place. In question number 5, 
three lines and hundred thousand plays because we have ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. In question number six, we have nine lines and thousand plays. In this part of the lesson, we need to write each number in a standard form and expanded form. As we said before, the standard form is the form that uses the digit to write the number. But expanded form, we use the sum of the value of each digit to write the number. Now we'll start with the standard form. We have here 83 million. So we are talking about the million period. Once we are talking about the million period, so that will be the million period. It's formed from three digits. After that, we have the thousand period. After that, we have the ones period. Now we have in the million period we have 83. Just 83. There is no digit lies at the 100 place. So it will be 83. 23,000. We have here 23 lied in the 1000 period. So in the 1000 period we just write 23. But we have here 3 lies at the 1's place. So we just write 3. 2 lies at the 10's place. Just write 2. There is nothing at the 100 place. So we will not remove it. Just we replace it with 0. Only we remove the digit which lies at the left because zero at the left is meaningless. Now we have seven. The last period that we have now, which is the ones period. So just so we have seven, it lies at the ones place. There is nothing at the tens or the hundred place, so we just replace it with zero. So to write the number in standard form, it will be eighty-three million twenty-three thousand and seven. Now we need to write an expanded form. In the expanded form, we use the value of each digit. As we said before, to write the value of each digit, 8 here, just we write 8. There is 7 digits at the right of the 8, so we just write 7 zeros. Plus 3, just we write 3. There is 6 digits at the right of 3, so we just write 6 zeros. Plus 2, just we write 2. There is 4 digits at the right, so we just write 4 zeros. Plus 3. Just write 3 and 3 digits at the right, plus 7. And that's how can we write the number in standard form and expanded form. The same in question number 10. You will find that we have 304 million. It means we are talking about the million period. Once we need to find the million period, so we have 3 digits for the million period, 3 digits for the thousand period, and 3 digits for the ones period. 304. That 304 will be written in the million period. We just write 4 at the 1's place, 0 at the 10's place, 3 at the 100th place. We have here 800,000. 800 will be written in 1,000th place. So we just write 800. 400. 400 will be at the 1's place. So we just write 400. Now we need to write the number in expanded form. Just we write 3. There is 8 digits at the right, so we just replace it with 8 zeros. Plus 4. 4 lies at the million place. It means we have 6 digits at the right, so we just replace it with 6 zeros. Now we have 8. Just write 8 and we have 5 zeros at the right. Plus, now we have 4. There is 2 digits, so we have 2 zeros at the right. And that's how can we write the number in standard form and expanded form. In this part of the lesson, we'll use the place value chart to solve the question. Question number 11, we need to find the place value of 9. 9 lies at the 100,000 place. So we just write 100,000. The 1 has the value of 1 times what? 1 lies at the 1,000 place. It's mean 1 multiplied by 1,000. To find the value of 2, we can say it will be equal to, or 2 multiplied by 1. Now we need to find the value of 5. 5 will be equals 50 or 5 multiplied by 10. We have only one digit at the right, so we just write 1 zero. To find the value of 4, just we write 4 multiplied by. There is two digits, it means we just multiply it by 100. If we need to find the value of 1, just we write 1 multiplied by. There are three digits, it means we just multiply it by 1000. 0. The value of 0 at any place equals 0. By the same, we can find the value of 9 and the value of 5.